Ever since I was a little girl, I want to be an artist, and it was really my dream to show art in New York. So this has been like an exciting experience in that way. Our theme is uh, architecture and nature. And um, I wanted to bring light uh, to the historical history of the Hudson River's wigwams. The theme is architecture of nature. It's uh, based off Empedocles, who was a pre-Socrates philosopher, who divided nature into four categories, wind, earth, fire, water. When I thought about making public art, I wanted to make something interactive piece, and I came up with a swing idea. I want people to uh, go in and out from my sculpture and experience something really different. The work is called Atabe's Land Haven. Merman is uh, a mythical being from the sea who takes holiday with uh, Atabe. They dock on a, a small uh, island called Manahata, which means heavenly place in Algonquin. Here he, uh, he comes out of the water and sits on the tree stump. Basically what I do with my work, I use everyday objects. As you can see, these are leads from five gallon paint buckets that are colored into four different colors. And this will be a, a flying piece up 13 feet of the ground. I used to run every day in the park, so that inspired me to make this piece. It's just like an everyday inspiration for, for the people around it. This big circle is the window that you will see through from here. It will be distorted landscape. So my idea was uh, kind of having different perception through my piece. It was just straight long pipe and then we create this shape by drawing the floor and then measuring and cutting and welding a lot of uh, uh, precise work. My piece has about four pieces to it. Um, it's a unique part of the park which has two locations. The one location is a seated figure and the other location is a steel tower with a standing figure underneath it. It also has a wind turbine underneath the tower. I'm using the visual vocabulary of the site, which is a transfer bridge uh, at 65th Street. And um, so there's a tower uh, that harbors a light and the wind turbine powers the light and there's a worker underneath the light. The bench figure is a relaxing worker watching. I came to New York six years ago from Japan, and I started drawing, painting, and then all the art study in Art Students League. And then I just got this big opportunity of uh, public sculpture. I'm originally from Mexico. I've been living here in New York for three years. I think it kind of represents where I'm from. Very colorful. Mexico has really colorful and brilliant colors. So I wanted to show a little bit of myself into the piece. I grew up in Detroit. I've lived here about 10 years. Always lived in the city, Detroit, Chicago, New York. I have an industrial urban background. That's what I identified with and I'm bringing that to the piece. And it's a monument to the workers that built the transfer bridge and the industrialness of New York City. I want to convey my stories or my uh, mythical reality that could be. When people see my work, I want them to appreciate the, the icons and heroes of other cultures, whatever they may be, whatever their story is.